Hey guys, Mike Preston here. With the recent release of Unity 2020, developers now have access to some incredible improvements to the engine. Does this make it the perfect game engine for all developers? Today, I'm going to show you 9 reasons why the Unreal Engine is better. Number 9. It's compelling. There's something so alluring about seeing the Unreal Engine logo every time you use the Epic Launcher to fire up one of your games. Unreal Engine. I can't right now. I need to practice at Fortnite. Unreal Engine. No. Uh, did you see how terrible I was in the last video with my son? Come on. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Uh, all right, just, just, just once. Number eight, software updates. The Unreal Engine has less frequent updates and a more streamlined approach. For example, when prompted for a patch update, Unreal replaces your current version with a new one. Unity's updates are fast and frequent. It seems like every time you open Unity, there's a new version to download. As you can see, it doesn't take long for your hub to become littered with many versions, leaving you with your own garbage collection. Streamlining your projects with patch updates can be both annoying and cumbersome. Number 7. Price When it comes to cost, Unreal and Unity do things very differently. Un Unreal gives you complete access to all features for free and they don't charge you royalties until you've grossed... One million dollars. No, seriously, Epic won't take a dime until you reach $1 million in gross revenue. Unity allows you to make up to $100,000 before they want to cut. Not bad for an indie developer, but you don't get full access to the software or tutorials unless you pay a monthly subscription fee. I have to pay for dark mode? That's bullshit! Number 6. Engine Templates While Unity does offer a handful of starter templates to choose from, it is a mere fraction of what the Unreal Engine provides. Not just for gaming either. Epic has multiple categories to choose from, each expanding your production options. That being said, gaming is clearly the focus, and with this many templates, it's difficult not to be inspired. Take a look at the advanced driving template. You have a vehicle with independent suspension that's fully drivable and it even comes with its own engine sound effects, right out of the box. Half the game is already complete. Maybe you just need a better driver. Number 5. Chaos Physics and Destruction System Chaos is the new high-performance physics system for the Unreal Engine. With Chaos, you can destroy anything from simple structures, buildings, to large-scale environments. There are a number of hoops to jump through before you can follow along with Epic's tutorial on the matter, but the carnage you can create with this destruction system makes it more than worth the effort. The Chaos system is also integrated with the Niagara Visual Effects system. Speaking of which... Number 4. Niagara Visual Effects the Niagara system is a relatively new feature that extends on the complexity and customization of the older effects system. Among the interface, you'll find a visual scripting tool named Scratchpad. This allows you to create your own logic to truly make your effects come to life. Not only can you drastically change the ambiance by emitting particle lights, but you can create flocking and chains with particle-to-particle -particle communication, as seen here in the Unreal Engine 5 demo. Number 3. Multiplayer Unity has been exceptional with keeping their engine modern, but one area they fall short is multiplayer. While Unet is technically still functional, it's been deprecated for quite some time as seen by their last post on Unity's FAQ page dated last year. It seems like an odd decision given the current popularity of online gaming. Epic, on the other hand, not only have in-depth documentation to help simplify the process, but have made it extremely easy to test multiplayer, 
especially if you are using Blueprint scripting. Testing replication and multicasting can be as simple as setting the number of players as well as the net mode from the play button drop down. Number two, first and third person shooter focused. If you're looking to create a first or third person shooter, the Unreal Engine is the obvious choice. Upon selecting the FPS template, you are greeted with everything you need to prototype your game. Closer Look reveals just how much Epic have set up in advance, from character movement to projectile mechanics. The player has immediate access to typical character options like movement, camera and gun offsets, and also a complete damage function that can be used across the character classes. As far as projectiles go, the Unreal Engine has you covered there too. Everything from velocity, bouncing, heat seeking, and even whether or not the projectile should rotate towards the ground as it falls. Number 1. The Unreal Engine 5 Although not available to the general public yet, this update easily takes the number one spot. Two of the most exciting features are Lumen and Nanite. With Lumen, you have fully dynamic lighting, global illumination. That means no light maps, no normal maps, and no baking. Nanite, you have limitless geometry. From a production standpoint, this is nothing short of amazing. In a typical development environment, the design team have to create multiple LODs and count polygons, all in the sake of performance and maintaining high frame rates. Not only does Nanite remove these limitations, but it allows artists to focus on more assets with incredible detail. Hey guys, that's going to do it for this one. If you think I missed any, leave a comment down below. And thanks for liking and subscribing. See you next time.